Trust in 2019. I only put the, the slide that SoftLink showed with me, and I think those of you, certainly those of you who nearly have joined in pain last night, I think you can see the effect the sponsorship has had on us. We, we, I mean, <laughs> <laughs>
they are in today, aren't they? We've got two, um, teacher training for UNHCR, so our, our, our staff provide training for, for the teachers who work with the UNHCR. So we would have like that to go in with the books, and then the photo will be with the books as well, so that you can have, you, you can also, we can put that in the file so that you can have a record to show about our collaboration and the impact that it's going to have on people further afield that are actually probably in more need than we are. So we're very grateful for any um, donations that you've made, especially if you don't want to put donations, that are really generous. And uh, we'd like them to know and you to know. And it's an Thanks, Thanks. Okay. <coughs> Let's see, we are in session, so there we go. We have got this one, Janine, from Tangent Trust.
Yes, you can write your references like you just seen, pass your driving test. But without really thinking about the fundamentals, you can never move on any more than that. You have to be able to put the car into gear without thinking. You need to drive down the road. You need to do it automatically. You need to be thinking about why you reference instead of just doing it at the end. You need to deepen your knowledge and start mastering how to do this. So let's start with year three. Year three, I always think of as, as lovely little goldfish when they come in and see like that. Into the library. So as soon as they work out, I borrow a book and have to scan it out and have to sit down patiently and listen to a story. We're on some more loftier things. And I really started thinking about something that Chris Cookie said, and that's the children learn very well in this room by observing. They observe what's going on, they're curious. Things, they see problems and they work it out themselves. And that's a lot more gratifying than actually being told to do something. So I've been trying to flip the way I'm teaching to try and mimic this in the framework. So I start off like this. I'm trying to introduce a concept and to start. So I start reading to them. And we do a project on Vikings, and they're very excited about this because it's a very important subject. Why do the Vikings travel so much? The Vikings lived amazing.